All right, so I've been seeing something and it's really bothering me. All right, people are not knowing how to break these cars in. All right, you know, you're destroying your new Hellcat, your new Scat Pack before you even break it in. These cars need to be broken in, all right? It is not just 500 miles. It is 1,500 miles, and I'll show you that in a minute on Uconnect. You cannot just abuse this car. It's not just a muscle car that picks things up and puts them down, all right? It is a very sophisticated computer, and on this computer is uh, pretty much uh, some rules you have to follow. So you have to make sure this car is broken in, all right? It is not just 500 miles. It is 1,500 miles that you have to get to before you can start beating on this car, all right? And I'll show you that in Uconnect in just a few. But people don't realize how intelligent these cars are. Are, all right they are not just muscle cars all right blocks on wheels with 700 plus horsepower all right they are a very sophisticated computer you have to take it easy with this car early on yes it could take a lot of abuse overall but uh, that's not what they want you to do before the break-in period all right and that is the full break-in period not just 500 miles so you need to make sure that you're really breaking this car in period all right i'm sick of seeing people having problems with their hellcat because they're doing zero to 60s burnouts all right, and they're doing donuts you know the most you should be doing on this car for the most part is maybe some accelerations when you get on the highway you can jump on these cars like i said are you know very expensive they're very particular and they are computers on wheels you have to be careful when you're driving these cars you have to be careful when you're uh, when they're brand new and you're getting into that break-in period so uh, that's what i want to tell you in this video all right so i got it turned on let me show you exactly how to find this setting in uconnect so what you want to do is you want to go to your apps first all right you want to find vehicle user guide go into that screen it says please wait it takes a little minute to load you'll see the uh, information icon and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to where it says vehicle operations all right so most people think it's in vehicle maintenance it is not there it is in vehicle operations so you want to go into that and then you want to hit this down arrow right here it's in this screen right here where it says driving controls view driving functions shift modes and speed controls all right, you want to go into that. All right, and then this is where you'll see the engine break-in uh, SRT. So you want to touch on that. All right, and in this screen is where it tells you about the 500-mile break-in period. All right, that is the first break-in period. And then it tells you about uh, this print may be a little small. You may not be able to see it. Just look at it on your own screen when you get a chance. But you go down right here, and it tells you for the first 1,500 miles, all right, do not participate in track events sport driving schools or similar activities during the first 1500 miles all right so that is the break-in period all right it's not just 500 miles you have to get these cars up to 1500 miles and beyond and then you're actually fully broken in all right so let's jump on the road just got out of the gym and i uh, just wanted to talk about that first part before we jump on the road and i'll continue on with this video so uh this uh this morning when i started my car before i left to go to the gym i let this car warm up all right it is 98 degrees here in texas all right so uh with the humidity it's not that bad actually i want to check out this side over here just to see what this looks like uh i'm exploring all these different areas to film videos in and uh, that's what i love about texas is tons of tons of areas to film so uh when i started up this car this morning even on a hot day like this i still let this car warm up all right i didn't just Start the car up and just start driving. All right, you gotta let this car warm up. starts to actually lift up is when you're ready to go you have to let this car warm up uh, no matter what no matter what the temperature is you know it warms up a lot faster in this heat than it does um, in the cold but you still need to let the car warm up so you know like I said uh, you cannot just abuse these cars just because you see people abusing these cars on on video or people that have already had the car for a while it takes a while before uh, this car is broken in and like I said, uh, you'll see, I just got an oil change, so let's just go down the vehicle info. So right here, here's my actual tire pressure, all right, and then coolant temperatures, trans temperatures, oil temperature, oil pressure, and here's your oil life. I just got it done 
it was at 100%, now it's down to 99%, so still a ways before I have to get another oil change, some six to seven months down the line. But you have to make sure your oil is at a high percentage, especially when you're beating on these cars, even after they're broken in. You can't just get to 1,500 miles, have this oil life down to 20% or below, and just start doing donuts, you know? All right, just had to come to Chipotle real fast and get my uh, post-workout meal. Uh, but like I said, you know, definitely, an investment you're making uh, with these cars when you purchase them you got to make sure you know you take care of this car so uh, it will last you well into the hundred thousands of miles uh, if you take care of it all right and these cars as you know they're going away uh, this is gonna be it they will be endangered species uh, coming up soon so we only have about six months left in this year and that is it for the Hellcat so uh, let's just see uh, like I said it before I would be interested in Maybe looking at that EV if they if they come out with a four door, I doubt they'll do it. So I probably won't end up getting it. But if they come out with a four door, I would probably be interested in bringing that to the channel also. So four doors, oh, and also if they get rid of that hatchback, the uh, the hatchback has to go. I can't you know I can't deal with that. But if they can bring uh, this you know new EV with this dual or a triple motor, whatever it's going to be, with this transmission system that they're going to do to where it feels like you're shifting, I'd be interested in bringing that to the channel just to see. Uh, how that's going to work out but uh, it has to be four doors before i'm even interested in doing it so let's just see what happens with that but as of now um you know all we know all we know of is uh it's coming out in 2024 i don't think they have even uh, really announced anything else i'm hoping in august they announce something uh coming up with this uh speed week coming up in august next month or uh, a road kill nights whatever they they have this annual event that they have every August so I'm hoping that they you know show us show us what this car looks like again maybe update it they already updated the exhaust and uh, maybe they'll have a third update uh, this this August so I'm almost positive that's where they're gonna let you know what's going on with this new EV this Charger Daytona Banshee so let's just see how that goes but uh, it would be my third Daytona and like I said before if you didn't see the video that I did prior to this I will not be getting rid of my uh, ice engine this Hellcat is here to stay and I would not be getting rid of this car just to uh, trade it in for some, some for some EV that I don't even know about. All right, this car would be paid off and I would have that car as a second car for content on this channel. So that's what I'm looking to do. As I've said it before, some bigger things are gonna be going down. Uh, I haven't really released that information yet, but you know, I didn't just move to Texas for no reason. So uh, some big things will be going down. Uh, I will be bringing that to the blog soon to uh, document that and what I'm trying to do uh, with this uh, with this channel as far as bringing something new uh, for my car so uh, you just have to just sit back and wait for that but right now uh, that's what uh, I'm looking to do caught this guy in the back he's uh he's looking so let's just see